Hello, alam eh, mila wa, cawe tisai wa, sebetulnya sama sepatu remaster seri ni cuci lagi barai. Cawe tini ada main story sama sahaja, tini sama harga loss level korai tu ramai kima ramai metela yare kelu lagi de level bono tu loss level tu biar pita biar naga tu luar barai komentari ni lalu tak apa ni sama wa, so patu yang meja spoil lagi pakong panai barai, so story cibu lah so yang tiba kena cora jawa, cina lama main story tu dia caca sama apa yang nampai ni lah ame, so Ya, tunggu dah. Jangan masa ni lebih jujur kepada nama Tewi Tawa Mei. Fikir ya, sisi sisi kelu ini nabi. Pun juga. Oi, cakap. Let's go. Sebab tu ye. Biar ini simbol nama making of Emma Lost Level to Be a Boy. Tapi ground dia tu, macam tu dia three level part dia. Yeah, sebab play early versions of level that were captured in the original development of the Lost Levels Part 2 that this level are present in an unfinished pre-alpha state and have optional developer commentary. So, the Lost Levels Part 2 is a part of the development of the Lost Levels Part 2. So, the level is a part of the Lost Levels Part 2 that is a part of the Lost Levels Part 2. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, this level contains spoiler. We strongly recommend that we uh, you play the original game before playing it. So, but do not put up your story spoiler. Mami tadi, mati ni. So, di bawah kena mati jangan. Baru leh so, but do your story. Ajaran kau ni, ajaran lemai de, mati yang thai le, mian ibu ayah. So, yeah. Kuri, but do siri di cakar masa di jauh no. So, yeah, cakap jauh. Jackson Party. Ellie nervously attends the party in Jackson. At this level, is present. Oh yeah, aku ayah. Does not have spoken dialogue. Only place or the line. She wants subtitle. Okay, dialogue map out. Wow, subtitle ni ni betul. Sadai terai bana. Sia de sewa. Ellie is swap into the sia de sewa system. This level is present. Blah blah blah. Alright, original cat. Ellie follows a tree of blood to an abandoned generous door. Okay, yeah, just about the sadji lah ya. Double commentary in tribulation period. Yeah, nak ulang tema. Okay, okay, cuci awak. Jauh beli, pelu beli le, pelu lai le, baru pelu lai le sebab amui. You're about to play an unfinished level from The Last of Us Part Two. Hi Nye. The reason we added this section is there are a few sequences, and we picked the three of the best ones that we cut from the game. You know, often we build a game that's much bigger than what ends up being the final product. They were months away from being finished, but we wanted to give you an insight of what it's like when we built the game, because often we have this whole thing constructed and it doesn't have final art or audio or dialogue. And here you get to see the building blocks of what it's like when we first string a bunch of these levels together. This is the intro to the first deleted level, and this one is the roughest of the three. We wanted to show more of how Jackson operates. So this is... The festival where Ellie ultimately kisses mm -hmm. Dina, the sequence would have come very late in the game as a flashback sequence while you're in the farm with Dina. And we wanted to show what is the rest of Jackson doing um, and wanted to put on the stick, make it interactive. So you could see when you're outside, there are all these almost like carnival games that you can play. You could mix drinks, you could play with these kids that are playing a sort of clicker Marco Polo, sit down and listen to conversations. And all the different interactions were first or second pass, very, very early passes, the building blocks are there, but nothing is final. And ultimately, while we were very excited by the sequence, it's pretty fun and lighthearted. It just slowed things too much as we're barreling towards the end of the story at this point. So again, reminder, rough, missing audio, missing animation, missing <laughs> gameplay tweaks, missing dialogue, but pretty representative of what it would have been. So enjoy. All right. So I don't want to bear a bone, but I'm not going to take it. Hey, you're playing with me, you're playing with me. I'm going to die, 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 I'm going to die. Originally, this level was going to transition us to farm. We would go all the way through to the dance, where Ellie and Dina share their first kiss. Then we would play through farm, and when Ellie plays the guitar at night, she would remember the Seth incident. So, the opening for this was a little tricky. 
we needed it to match at least a little what you might expect emotionally coming from it. prior beats. Because we were already purposefully disorienting you in time and space. Remember, you just came from this huge fight. To jump straight into it would have been a little too jarring. After some back and forth, we rooted it in Ellie's nerves, calling back to her hands shaking in the theater. But this time, for a much more innocuous reason, we'll find out later. She's nervous because she has a crush on Dina, who is the mm -hmm. only reason why she's here at the dance. Okay, so that's why I go to my middle out. Did I really win? When I met by my Pabby table looked I have on it. Through a year, she and Jarrow Maslow, Piato like by it. Tina, the Sarah Pianciam. So I paid in ya, no one a jenny, eh? The two I wear, that's I tell her, that's a long one a jenny. Through low less a high. Okay. Something we really wanted to do was highlight the way their lives had turned upside down since she went down this path. We had this idea of recontextualizing all of our usual gameplay mechanics that were designed for really violent ends. The workbench, door bashes, throwable weapons, and even the infected, which is my personal favorite. Peppered throughout the level are moments of levity or shared history, all the while seeing how happy and mundane they all were before her huge revenge odyssey. Mm. Okay. Mm. Nice. So just somebody to Elena Dina ne kaja bio. Wa bono june zga mya bio yen phit jai nia. We use our workbench a lot to make a lot of things that kill and maim and hurt people. Here, we had the silly idea of using the same feel, harkening back to the same animations using the exact same UI to instead fix a drink. Like the workbench, you could pick your base and then you could add something to it. And at okay. the time, we had some different reactions from Ellie based on how strong you chose to make the drink. Something we wanted to prototype though, before it got cut, was picking up some ingredients around to add, like a lime or maybe a bottle of someone's favorite whiskey or salt, like you were earning upgrades. We also toyed with having Ellie carry around the drink you made and occasionally sip it psyching herself up to go talk to Dina inside because she's nervous. It got too noodly though because she would need to keep placing it somewhere before she did anything. So it would have ended up more trouble than it was worth. Okay. Yes, that's why I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you about the time I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you about the time I'm going to talk to you about the time I'm going to talk to you about the time I'm going to talk to you. Okay. It is not a festival without one of these throwing games. This one, of <laughs> course, uses our throwable system where you're often chucking explosive things or stunning things, but for a more wholesome purpose, although some people take this game really seriously. A fun aspect of this is if you did well, you could win a toy here. Ellie would place it in her pocket. If you had done this, you'd find the toy with JJ, the baby, later back at the farm. When we cut okay. this, the toy made it through anyway because it was so cute. It is the same one you see on the tractor at the farm. Ollie the elephant. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, the makeup artist is pretty makeup simple. Artist. It's one of those little in-game scenes we peppered in to make it feel like Ellie had roots in the town. Hallie, our writer, mentioned that in her mind, an ex-girlfriend of Ellie's tattooed her arm to cover up her scar. So we figured this might be the only time you get to see that. We wanted to hint at it and allude to it and make it feel like there had been so much more that had been happening and so much more that Ellie threw away. Hmm. <laughs> this is one of my favorite sections because I think that it achieves both the slice of life aspect of Jackson 
while also being a stark reminder of how dark the world that they live in really, really is. To attract attention and curiosity, one of the kids was supposed mm, to make so, an adorable, messed up little clicker impression, and the others would giggle. We tried a version where if you got close enough, the kid might try to follow you a little before turning back. Since clickers are blind and move by echolocation, for this game mm. of messed up tag, Ellie must close her eyes and listen for when the children give themselves away. The thought was that these kids are in relative safety. They still grow up with the dangers of clickers and runners, and all those lessons would embed themselves in the games that they play. When the festival got cut, they tried to preserve this moment and move it to the front of the game where the snowball fight is as a tutorial. However, being in the headspace of a clicker doesn't really teach you how to deal with them. Eventually, mm -hmm. it evolved, and they instead made the snowball fight, which was, I think, way more effective. For me, it's character illuminating that not only does Ellie know this game, she plays along. There's a familiarity with the kids that's really nice to see, especially because it's such a difference from the Ellie we see later, who has a sort of hollow normalcy that she's trying to get with JJ, but kind of fails. <laughs> All right, click on the music. Nice. Hey, maybe. Oh. <laughs> All right, why you power in it? Then I had another idea, you know. Hello, hello, hello. Why my TV is like clear through? Hello, music is on. Yeah, yeah. Blue limo, maybe. Say that. ตัวเรดีเลชี่ก็ไปเอเนี่ยจีซอมไฮไอ้คลิกไปไปเลยเฮ้ยอะไรมีคลิกอะไรมีเลิกไปก็ซ่านี่จ้ะไอ้ยา
but it's a glimpse into what a game looks like when it's months away from finishing. Enjoy. Okay. So that's the idea by now. The idea by now. The idea by now. So I let go. Get off of me! ตาปงแมงเกมเมงเนี่ยมันไม่มีตะลาวได้มั้ยไม่ชาอะไรเปียวแต่จะเสียงเตียวด้วยเดี๋ยวแกนี่จะสอบมาเจ้าอะไรเ
as it was a great opportunity to use our frame Crawling mechanic. Up. A unique camera setup was created to support crawling in these pipes, as the standard prone camera is much higher above the player. We also created custom collision in order for Ellie to maneuver in these tight spaces easily. Initially, mm. the oblong collision capsule around her character caused issues crawling around corners. But we put extra effort into the custom corner collision so the movement experience is as smooth as the main game. Okay. So the yellow hood ago. Lubiamle. Polishimore. Piawabona. That are okay. Hello. 3D modeling, game design, but then it's like we're losing a bone. I'll let him. Polishimore. Banya. Good boy. In order for the player to feel cramped, claustrophobic, and desperate, we've yeah, been enforcing the traversal mechanics that allow for a tight environment, which promote these feelings. We introduced the use of the squeeze through, squeeze through. so that we can keep the player feeling enclosed and tight, but without repeating the same geometry. Here we change from low ceilings with wider walls to high ceilings and tight walls to change up the spatial pacing and keep the level from repeating itself. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, bad to see. เงินเล็กๆก็ไปเลยโอเคแกมาซ่อจอมีดิโอเคใหญ่อ่าเมื่อกี้นั่นก็เปลี่ยนเอ๊ะเปลี่ยนซ่อจอมีดไทม์เล
Using this pipe was retained in the iteration we shipped with, as it's the last of the extreme methods Ellie has to undergo in order to escape the sewers and what she will go through in her pursuit of revenge. The last ladder climb is quite lengthy, and although we could have trimmed it down to a shorter climb, we liked how this last segment of the journey built anticipation for whether there was success at the top or not after all you've been through. Ultimately, the ladder exits out into the subway station, which is how it connects in the final game. Ellie then has to find her way to the hospital from here, crossing paths with the scars for the first time. Mm. The end of your delivery, yeah, bro. All right. Nice. Can I have you at the boy? I will pass it in like that. I do to Jimmy and I'll me me on the key. All right. That's good. The hot than no pie hype. You met in it for this third and final deleted level. Um, what we call the boar hunt sequence. This was a sequence pretty late in the game. It was mm -hmm. right after the whole Seattle Abby sequence where uh, Abby spares Ellie. And then we wanted to come back into Ellie's story, but keep it a bit mysterious of how much time has passed, where is Ellie now? So we're coming in on Ellie uh, and she's following a trail of blood. And we wanted to mirror in a way the deer hunt sequence from the first game, but this time do it with a boar. And there is something with Ellie that now she's, she can't let go of this violence. She's pursuing it um, even against this innocent animal. This was another opportunity to show how the violence that Ellie has experienced, the violence that she witnessed being uh, afflicted onto Joel is still sticking with her. And she's still uh, experiencing these PTSD moments. This was a sequence that was pretty far along and was cut pretty late in production. Parts of it are still really rough, but the gameplay, the building blocks were all there. I think you'll have fun to see, like, again, a rough, unfinished sequence um, of, that you can play. You can see all the way to the end and including a cinematic that we end up cutting. And the remnants of the sequence ended up being mentioned in Ellie's journal. So this part of the, the story that we developed still made its way into the game as kind of optional stuff that you could read about, but here you get to experience it. So as a reminder, this is pretty rough, months away from being finished, <laughs> uh, but you get to see it now. So the boar hunt was one of the hardest levels for me to work on. It was a huge challenge with the systems that we had, and we kept trying, but it never felt quite right. Originally, the level happened after the Jackson Festival, which also got cut, but before Farm. Once the festival got cut, it became the prologue to Farm. The intended experience is that we jump forward in time after the fight with Abby in the theater. We don't know where Dina is. We likely assume she's dead because she was just bleeding out. Ellie is alone, her hair is short, so maybe this is the future or the present. And she's hunting. Mm. Hunting who? Abby still? Alright. And right. In the early iterations of the fight, it was more arena-like. The player slowly whittles down the boar's health. Ellie gets more visceral and more vicious. We get a little worried about her. As the boar gets weaker, more panicked, more feral, and we start feeling sympathetic to the boar was the hope. 
uh, in all of these iterations, especially of these wider areas, it required custom AI and scripting to make sure it continued to feel organic as an animal, but we really needed it to do specific stuff. It needed to be able to close distances really, really quickly. It needed to charge to attack, but we wanted the feeling of hunting, so we needed to track it down from afar. And we also needed to discourage the player from attacking the boar when it's that close, or it would kind of turn into this melee kerfuffle. How do we do this in our world while keeping the boar believable? Okay. We must have gone through five or six iterations of the boar fight and all, and every single time it changed gotcha. pretty drastically. We split it into clear phases where one was like all long range. We tried another where you're getting close and you get the jump on it quite literally. You're jumping off of a rock <laughs> to attack it. Uh, and then finally, we tried a bunch where you almost so sort of uh, go around a bunch of trailers and try and try and wrestle it. We uncovered after some time that taking down a boar over several phases felt very laborious and a little dramatic. It was comically long. It felt too boss-like, uh, a little too gamey. We decided to cut the first few phases and we opted for a cold open after the boar had already been hurt off screen. So that allowed us to focus on feeling like we're closing in on prey and to introduce the boar when it was at its most dangerous. Already hurt, already feral, much too close for comfort. And so the thinking was it would bring us more into Ellie's mindset. Is this really hunting for food or is she hunting for some other reason? The gas station was built to highlight the boar's destructiveness. Since it's cramped, the boar feels larger. We also feel trapped with it, though perhaps it's trapped with us. When it charges, it gets to us quickly, so we must be on our toes. This made it more aligned with Ellie's sort of hunting for trouble mindset. Listening became more important, as well as moving around slowly so it didn't hear you. Could you spot it before it saw or heard you? And could you get a shot off quickly enough so you could dodge out of the way? Or is the shot worth the cost after? It feels like a gamble. By the end of the fight, everything would likely be in shambles. The boar would burst through the back and Ellie would follow it and finally enact revenge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I can't see shit. Long agenda, she did. The boar kill was supposed to be anything but glorious. With the boar whimpering at the back of the gas station after Ellie's relentless hunt. After this, hearing the drone that we kind of come to associate with Ellie's trauma, we would hard cut to the stream where she's washing her hands and holding rabbits that she hunted, about to return to Dina. And there would be no mention of the boar. โอเคเตยปีเดียสิมูเมนต์เนี่ยติติซูอาเซชินนี่เราปาซิจินไลดาวาเราดาเราทาไลดาดาเลดาเลตูเปียวเลยเนี่ยไอ้เนี่ยไ
，啊 ，sorry， 那对的，哎 ，from 你话实现比较对，即即啲呢话都点够听嘛，都烂话啦，诶 ，sorry， 都烂死啦，诶，点够听嘛，阿卢 ，break down 片段下面播啦，所以呀，大礼拜都唔系嘛，做实现咧，所以 ，yeah，anyway，I be a to ground that to the long at the last of us but to locate ตรงว่าพี่ไอ้เนี่ยเซ็นเอพีวาบอเนาะอะไรอะไรไปรู้มาลำเลมตีลาเราเหลาไหมแต่ตอนเราจะทรีลาไปเทวิธาเอาไอ้พี่เอาตัวรู้หัวมาลิตาก้าพี่ไอ้เนี่ยเซ็นคอมเมนต์เทอรี่โอเคพี่เอาอิสราเอลมาเอ้กีตาฟรีเพลย์ตาตัวรู้ตาตีรีมาสามารถเทวิธาเนี่ยกีตาตัวรู้ตีปัตุเรียมากีตาตีรู้ยาเกมอะไรมินิเกมได้ไปแล้วว่ากีตาฟรีเพลย์สวิเทวิธาอืม讲了也，我现在是点了，耶，对吗？班主任讲了也，哎，过来看一半，你跑了没事啊？了没得？什么半没事啊？嗯 ，Face Pad for Winter Spring， 他跑了没得？ Minum tak penjual dan pilih macam? Awak pilih hulu hulu minum elektrik kita ni lepas. Rock that jazz that. Aku kiri point macam ni, nama pun jauh kan? Eh, biar tu mah. Jauh ini lagi dah tiga ya. Jauh kita ni pelawa. Biar jauh ini tiga ya. Wanita lagi tiga ya. Tak Gustavo. Gustavo di The Last of Us series kongsi ya. Music by Penny Beta itu. Ya, lewa di dalam sebab dia ikon ni tinggal di bawah laut ha. Music store Jason Theatre Firm. Okay, dah kini mana? Lo kira dia tiga dia ni ay kolom eh? Jason ada Jason ada kurai tinggal dia mana? Jadi Jason mah biar ay ha. Ya, kamera fit ay lah terlalu ya. Nice. Okay. Anyway, okay. So, the view layer, that one. I think I wrote just now the the last of us part two to remaster Terry Thai Lost Level. I think I did it. I want to be in the same level. So, yeah. Not by the the studio to just start by. Not by now. I love me. I'm not going to be by the teacher like you are me. I feel no return to the party. No return to the mass of me. That I feel I do. Kuri Goro War Valhalla One Lumi We Rock Life or not the ขนาดขนาดสไลด์หามอยู่สไลด์ยังอะไรเราอะไรเราทาลังไหมสไลด์ anyway เราปัตุฟิลสาวเนี่ยเชิงตัวมาจนเราเชนเนอร์มาป่าวันรีเมคสอดาชีวะเนี่ยมาสร้างด้วยวัยเนี่ยติดชาจีจีป่าวันเนี่ยยินตัวจีจาวะป่าวันไม่เชื่อถึงป่าวันยินตัวจีจาวะเนาะปัตุอ่ะพี่ว่าป่าวันเนี่ยตายตายตัวไอ้หามอยู่สไลด์ป่าวันของจีนเนี่ยปัตุปวดหน้าเลยไหมเปียร์ที่เกี่ยวกับปัตุจนเราฟิลลงนิรงูด้วยปัตมาจง做做简单，做个 first reaction 之前嘞，前两天嘛是吧？哎，哎，我了来选了比做个，做那呢，先买比较厉害的些单买。也，另外 major major blow point 的嘛，不如 reaction 的批给来做之前，哎，做之前我呢，做那都靠上来，不如批用那样的单买。也，之前我可以另外 studio 那都靠另外我们手机在给提给啊，包了说，也，看啥了了，哎，给把这手机啊，对吧？比较爱 diverse 吧，些多的啦啦，把给嘛的项目做呢，是呀。แต่เรื่องว่าประมาณสองนั่นเขาเปลี่ยนสอบยังไงหาบ่เนาะสุดยอดนับไว้สองเดือนอะไรอย่างนี้ตัวเป็นจริงตัวพี่จ้าวะสอบที่วิวเลียร์เราติดลบเอาไว้เอ่อวิวเลียร์แจ้งแล้วตัวว่าจะไปดูไปดูเรามาสองเดือนเนี่ยช่องสมัครเลยวิวสองเดือนจ้าวะสุดยอดนับไปนับลาไม่ฟิวใจเปลี่ยนดูจ้าวไหมไป